before we th start, I just gotta go over a couple of things of my own real quick, okay? And now I'm just gonna ask you your, your basic information, uh, your name and things like that. Do you have anything? Yes, sir. Oh, you left it on the window, sir. Thank you. Today's date is 5-19-2021. Time of statement is 15-46 hours. Tape statements being conducted at the Gloucester Township Police Headquarters in reference to a domestic that occurred out at 1501 Old Black Horse Pike Department, Charlie 9. Case number for the incidents, 2021-24013. Um, ma'am, for the record, can you just state your full name for me? Jadrian A. Robinson. And how do you spell Robinson? R O B I N S O N. And a good phone number for you? 267. 267. 693. 693. 1903. 1903. You have an email address? Same as my first and last name. The Jasmine J A. G. Uh huh. M I N E. Robinson. 92 at gmail.com. 92. Yes. Jasmine, in your own words, um, just explain to me. Uh, what led up to today's incident and why police were called out to uh, your apartment and who were involved? I think today was the icing on the cake because he really realized that I was really leaving. All right, and who is, who is he? Uh, Marquan. Mar Marquan who? Marquan Washington. All right, and who is Marquan to you? He is an ex-boyfriend. All right, and um, how long have you guys been dating? been about a year and a half, almost two. So almost two years now? Or we've been around each other. Definitely been a full year of us being together. Okay. And do you have any children together? No. Alright. And uh, during the time of your relationship, do you guys live together? Yes. yes. Alright. And where did you guys live? Um, Blackwood, New Jersey. Right. Do you know what the apartment complex is called? Hillary's apartment complex. And what apartment? T9. T9. And when did your relationship with Marquan end? About three months ago. Three months ago? Yes. We had came up with, a, with an arrangement that we, we were roommates because I carried the bulk of the, the unit. I, I pay for the apartment. Technically, okay. he just there on me. So okay. if I leave, he can't afford it. Like I said, I've been looking for houses. So you guys made a mutual agreement that yeah. you would stay roommates, but not in a dating relationship. Right. I do what I do. He does what he do. All right. I guess he... No, I guess he didn't take it too well. Did you guys sleep in the same room that night? So if I didn't sleep in the room with him, I would get terrorized for a couple of days. So I would sleep in the room with my own. Okay. So what what led up to today's uh, incident? He was upset that I was on the phone when I didn't father. We have been like, you know, flirting back and forth, but I'm single. All right. And who's your baby's father? Uh, Kareem, uh, he's currently incarcerated. Yeah. So he didn't like that we were talking on the phone, made a couple phone calls, which he does often. Called one of his old friends, you know, talk crap about me, talk crap about him, whatever. But in the mix of him talking to his homie, he had made a comment about my baby father that was a lie. So I told him, watch what you say, like, that was a lie, that's how you get into candy stuff, like, don't say nothing that you don't know nothing about. Like, if you don't know what you're talking about, don't say nothing. And, you know, one thing led to another. He starts getting in my face, starts yelling at me, and I'm like, listen, Mark Ron, I'm not doing this, which he knows I'm not doing this. I'm not arguing with you. I'm not fighting with you no more. We're not in a relationship. I don't understand why we ain't got to have these transactions. Yeah. So, as I'm trying to get away from him, he is constantly walking up on me, entering my space. I'm asking him to leave, I'm moving around, trying to get all my stuff, telling the kids to move, 
we screaming back and forth at each other. He corners me in the room. I ask him to what room? My room. Uh, that's the bedroom? Yeah, because this is when it got like, mm. well, yeah, I'm saying. He corners me in the room next to the TV right there. Probably a little closer. Yeah. He like that, you know, as close as we is. Uh-huh. And he's in my face. He like, should I beat you the fuck up? I'm da 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 da. What's he saying to you? Bitch, I'm beat you the fuck up. I'll kill you. I do this. Because his little friend on the phone had made a comment, I guess, I guess about me getting dragged. What's dragged? Somebody coming and dragging me out, beating me up and dragging me out the house. Okay. So I told him, I said, well, call whoever you want to get me dragged, if that's how you feel. I told you I was leaving. I'm actively trying to leave, and you're doing everything to keep me from leaving. So if that's the route that you want to take, go here and do whatever you got to do. Mm-hmm. My car, you know how I am, not no problem. Like, it is what it is. I'm trying to leave. You're stopping me. Yeah. So we, I go back in the room. I'm trying to find my shoes. He come in my space again, all up in my area. I said, my car. Get out of my face. Please get out of my face. Please get out of my face. You and my person in it up. What you gonna do? You ain't gonna do nothing. So listen, my crown. I'm really trying my best not to put my hands on you. Please. I exploded. I punched the TV. I did not punch him. I did punch him. I punched the TV. Boop. 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 Bitch, you fucking broke my TV. I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna fucking kill you. He proceeded to act like he was going to try to choke me. My brother got in the mix of us and was like, listen. Who's your brother? Louis. Louis who? Louis Velasquez. Uh, is he your biological brother? No. No. Right. We just known each other for a really, really long time. Uh, is Louis living with you guys or no. is he just... Louis couldn't... So I had a pop, I had a, um, a viewer, Rendezvous. I told Marquard I was leaving, and three days later, the tire on my car fell off. Okay. So, my brother, he let me borrow the car when I needed it, and when I told him, you know, everything that was going on, came to get me, so he's in there. So he came today? And he stays sometimes. I'm not going to lie and say he don't. He stays sometimes. Right. But Marquand has been. Was he there last night? Yeah. So your brother was there last night. Yeah. All right. So he was present during all this argument. So when you break the TV, Marquand. He threatens uh, to hurt me. Uh huh. He gets in the middle of us. He moves. I I move out the room. Yeah. He comes behind me. Does Marquand and? He, no, Lewis? I move out. Luke Marquand moves from behind him and uh-huh. leaves out. I'm in the middle of the living room floor. Uh-huh. He comes over to me. He puts his hands on my neck like there. When we can't come, uh-uh, that's not what you're not going to do. That's not what you're going to do. Uh-huh. I said, oh, this is what you, I said, oh, this is how we're going. You finally put your hands on me. I went. So did, when he grabs your throat, does he put any pressure? No, Louis no. got there too fast. Okay. So you didn't have difficulty breathing or no. anything like that? I'm not gonna say I did. How long do you think his his hands were around your? It wasn't there long. Like a second. Probably two, but it wasn't there long. It wasn't there long. It wasn't there long. He came real fast. I walked out the house. I picked up a belt. See the guy. Yeah. I picked up a belt. I see my car. So you're outside now? No, I'm, I'm in the house. I'm okay. about to walk outside, pick up the belt, and say my crown is ready now. You put your hands on me. I'm going to charge you. Okay. Then whoop your ass. Mm-hmm. And then I walked out. I told the kid, come on, go in the car right now. Yeah. As we going over to the car, I open the door. I'm putting everything in there. What are you putting in there? I put in my clothes, my shoes. I'm yelling at the kids. Kids is moving stuff out the door. Like, we throwing everything in the car. It's one of those everybody's leaving. We're not. We don't got time for this. Okay. I tell him I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna get the rest of my stuff. He tells me you ain't gonna come get ass. I'm put all your shit in the dumpster. I said, Mark Juan, uh, no. And if you do come up here, you better come up here with that shit, cause I guarantee you, I'm gonna hear that shit, and we gonna be ready. Let's have that shit and be ready. You better have a gun, cause we gonna have guns, and when y'all come up here, it's gonna be something. Okay. So he mentioned... Yeah, I said, so Marquand, are you threatening me? 
Is that what we doing right now? Okay. He picked up the big old brick and said, bitch, you broke my TV. Started walking towards the back of my car with my kids in, but I just told you I just started putting my kids in the car and trying to break out my back window. Was he successful? No. Me and him, we tussled over there. Okay. The moment he picked it up about halfway in the middle of the grass, I'm pushing him, keeping him from being able to break the window. So my brother screams, yo, bro, that's my car. What is you trying to do? Yeah. I don't give a F. Uh, she broke my teeth. He said, but what that got to do with me? You're trying to break my stuff because she broke your stuff. She actually let her go. She actually let her leave. Why is you doing this? He said, I don't care. I said, my car, my kids is in this car. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Oh, well, I don't give a fuck either. I'm calling the cops on you. Okay. Do whatever the fuck you got to do. Boys. So you called the police? Yes. Right. And when you called the police, uh, what did you tell the... I told him that they, he has a gun because he does have a gun. I do not know where he put his gun, but he does have a gun. Where was his gun at? Did you see it today? So normally when he goes out, he has his black book bag. He had his black book bag on when we were arguing. So where were, where, and where was, uh, when, were, when you were arguing, where did you see this book, black book bag at? Were you inside or outside? He was inside. I don't remember seeing him on his back when we were outside. I know when we was inside, when he, the first initial jumping in my face, he had the black bag on. Mom, when I broke the TV, he had the black bag on. That's why I didn't punch him. He had the black bag on. Mm -hmm. now so when you punched punch the TV, you saw the black book bag on his back? Yeah, he, he had it on his back. Okay. And what's he usually keep in the black book bag? He normally keeps his gun in there. What kind of gun did he name the house? I just know it's black. I'm not a school guy. I just okay. know it's black. Is it black? I just know it's black. Is it big or small? Is it like mine? Or small? Smaller. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> My guns are in the United States as well. Um, it's about the size of y'all guns. Okay. It looked like the stick might be a little longer. That's what they call them, right? The magazine? Yeah. Probably about like that long. It definitely stick out from the bottom. Okay. Look, these cuts on my hand. That probably came from me fighting and tussling with him with the brick. Gotcha. Right. And he sustained, um, and, and he's saying he sustained an injury. Um, at any point during <laughs> these arguments, did you arm yourself with a knife? I had got a gift from my big sisters. It is like a little, it's like a little safety knife, but it's a gift. I never pulled it on him. I never pretended to put on why am I going to pick up a belt if I'm going to cut you? I don't know if you've seen it. The little blade is like that big. Okay. Like literally. Is it like big. a wristless? Yeah. It's like one of those little clippy joints like that. It's like a, a bracelet. All my sisters got it. When I'm a part of a social club, when you join a social club, they give you a little a little bracelet knife. Okay. I never took it out on him. I never cut him when the cops came and said that he was cut. I said, with what? I yeah. said, what? From the brick when we was tussling? That's the only time, because it was cement. Yeah. I got a little couple scrapes, but I never cut that me. Right. I can't wait for that to show. At any time during these incidents, uh, about how long did these arguments last inside you, you'd say? Was it an hour? Was it 10 minutes? Was it 15 seconds? Like We was arguing for about an hour before it exploded outside. So about an hour before it exploded? Yeah. It's not our first argument. It's just the last. Okay. Alright. And how long uh, were you guys outside? Before I called, probably yeah. about a good 15 minutes. 15 I told him, normally y'all be there <laughs> like that. I said, well, I'm shocked. Gloucester County ain't get here yet. I'm about to call her. Because mm -hmm. that's not the first time he has done that. Mm -hmm. When I've tried to leave, he'll come out, jump in front of the car, get near me so I can't move. So when he usually keeps his gun with him, where does he have it? Is it in the house? Like if he leaves to go somewhere, does he, he take don't, it? He take it with him. He don't leave it by himself. And where does he put it? I don't know. All I know is he take it with him because I don't really... Like when you guys would go out, would he put it in the back seat? Would he keep it in the he front seat? he keep it in the trunk. He'd keep it in the trunk? I didn't keep it in the trunk. Okay. Right. And did you see him go to his trunk at all today? Um, were you in fear at all today? Yes. That he was going to harm you? 
I need to go first. Okay. No, not that thing. Okay. Are you injured at all right now? My feelings. <laughs> Your feelings. Okay. Um, did he put you in fear when he grabbed your neck? Was there, were the kids present during when he uh, put his hands around your neck? They were all standing right there. They were all standing right there. They jumped up on me like the Mr. Corner was going to kill you. Like, he's my big daddy, bro. How many children do you have? I got four boys. Four boys. Are you fucking daddy? So at no point you saw the gun today and you didn't make any threats with the weapon? No, he didn't say bullshit. But he, 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 he did imply that if I came back, he was going to hear some stuff. But he did not say, bitch, if you don't leave, I'm going to shoot you. Like that. No, he did He did say that? No, he oh. did not say that. But he okay. did say I was about to I'm gonna bust the window out of your car and proceeded okay. to pick up a, a goddamn uh, piece or, of yeah. lid and go after and my, my car. He said, he, he said if you return today... You better be ready, or... If I return today, they better have their stuff ready, because him and his are going to have their stuff ready. And what's that usually mean? They better have guns, because I'm going to have guns, and it's going to go there. Okay. Um, is there anything else you want to add to the statement that you feel is important? No? Would you be, uh... Do you want to apply for a restraining order tonight, today, against him? Yes. Okay. Um, has everything you've told me today been the truth to the best of your knowledge? Yes. Would you be willing to testify in the court of law to the statement that you provided today? Yes. And no threats or promises were made to give this statement? No. All right. All right. Time of end statement is 16.03 hours. Did you record anything? Any of the argument today with your cell phones? Probably on the jailhouse phone. Everything happened so fast. Okay. I just want to know if you had any like video of you guys arguing. Usually, sometimes we'll keep yeah. our video. Yeah. No. So no, uh, no video. Okay. All right. Come on out with me. Actually, just have to um, shut this off.